Welcome back, guys, to Octopath Traveler 2. Well, last episode, we started our fourth session with some side stories as we completed this filcher. We all researched for money and utterly exhausted before heading into the ruffian's hideout to clear them out for ruffian's redoubt. We then picked up our scholar's license and returned to Winterbloom to begin its exploration. There are some quests here, too. How big do you think this town is, considering we've uh, been having to check out quite a lot lately? A young man who lives in Winterbloom and has struggled for many years to find some use for the vast amounts of snow that fall each year. He eventually gave up and went to the Scholar's Guild to request a solution, but was unceremoniously turned away. The refined sword and heavy coin pouch. We could buy the sword for 19,000. 900,000. Uh, Knight's Great Bow we could buy for 99... Uh, I mean, there's some, 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 some good stuff here. Why would we scrutinize when we can inquire? A capable hunter who can be found fishing at the nearby lake in the summer. The fresh meat and fish he provides fill the bellies and nourish the souls of the townsfolk. A hidden item is found. Jerky, pot of poison dust, thank you very much. A hunter, farmer, manufacturer, and merchant. He packages the meat he hunts and vegetables he grows into preserved meals. Then he sells wholesale to the town and surrounding villages. He abhors wasting food, preferring to use even the stalks and roots of his vegetables in his meals. Gotta make sure that everyone else is cool with that. A sword and a stone? We should probably check that out after we've done our main quest here. A soldier born and raised in Winterbloom who now stands guard at the Montwise Library. Though the Winterbloom armor is wears, a simple, he appreciates their durability enough to return whenever he needs to replenish his supply. I'll take that. Silver hatchet. Hmm. 55% chance to steal. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> wow, going for 48 fizz and 11 accuracy to 112 physical attack and 32 speed is um, quite a jump. Even more axe powers now. I like that. Thanks, sir. We're actually having uh, something well within our still range. I can always inquire as to you, however. Do you have a... Oh, don't have a large one. Daughter of a local shopkeeper, energetic, cheerful, and prone to saying exactly what she thinks she has lately taken an interest in gardening and been collecting trees and flowering plants that can thrive in the local climate. The question Thank I'd have, you. as I uh, steal at least that, I'll take that. This looks like a quest that I wouldn't even be able to do right now. God, I hate this stupid sword. What business does it have being stuck in this rock anyway? I tried pulling it out, but it won't budge. Maybe I'm just not strong enough. I wonder if I can break the rock with one of those pointy things that miners have. Or maybe I just need more hands to rip this thing right out. Wait a second. It's time to... <laughs> Shoot, I'm very good at staying on the main quest, isn't it? Is it the guy in the, uh... The weapon shop? I... There's definitely a... There's, he's in a shop. But there's definitely a guy that has a pickaxe. I can steal people's stuff more now. Hey, Pat. I can't take your resistant nut. Was it you? No, it wasn't you. I definitely remember it. It was in Oars Rush. I think it was like in a place like the weapon shop or the... Is it a shop? There is. Oh, 15%. I'm buying this. Thanks, mister. I should have expected much from you. You've got a great eye. Much appreciated. Hey. Wait, that's a lot easier than I thought that quest would be. Sword in the stone makes me feel like I'm going to have to go through a big long thing to do that. <laughs> I've got a pickaxe. <laughs> This is where a super boss comes out and kills me. Uh, I'm just just saving the game for no particular reason. Sword in the stone. Very worrying. The sword, yeah, the sword does look too fancy for it to be easy. 
Right. We've got we've got one of those pointy things that mine is there. Maybe I just need more hands to whip this thing right out. I have a sturdy pickaxe. What? This is one of those pointy tools the miners use. Perfect. I can use this to chip away at the rock the stubborn sword stuck in. Breaks the sword. All right, stand back and I'll give it a try. It worked. It worked. Oh, thank you so much. Now I can finally grow myself a proper garden. Oh, before you go, why don't you take this useless, I mean useful, sword with you? It's all rusted over, but I'm sure it'll look nice with a proper polish or something. And you never know when something like this will come in handy on your journey. Okay. A rusty sword. Oh, it's only a key item. I mean, it's a key item, so that's cool, but... I wanted a sword right now. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? This Elmer's journal, by the way, is rereadable. It's very important. A uh, rusty sword. A rusty sword that has long since lost its shine. Maybe we can polish it up and grind it and bring it back to a full luster. That's the things that make sense. By the way, uh, Partitio's commercy thing is here. On top of things. A man who carefully watches everyone's comings and goings. He's actually a soldier hired by the local lord to fend off bandits. They prove more powerful than he expected, and so he finds his watch to be a full-time job. Soldier Spears. Okay. Hey, child. My, my, my. The young girl who loves cooking and eating. Well, not anymore. She especially loves working with limited or leftover ingredients. Though her flavors are absolutely divine, her presentation could use work. Thank you. Not anymore. Oh, we even made that easier to inquire. This person's important, then. <laughs> Level 30 with easier inquiries. Attack turn, charcoal maker. Come winter, he holds up in a small shack and turns the trees he felled in summer into charcoal over the course of several days. His efforts are rewarded with a high-quality product that sustains the lives of everyone in town. Give me that. Battle hatchet is... Why do I fail 80% all the time? I'll take that. Like unreal. Better than the iron axe at least. There's a zero and eighty, that's very true. That's very, very true. Right, let's begin our uh, our story chapter that we came here for. Hey, Hackney is here too again. Let me know if you could use a little shine or that's my heart out for you. So they say the same dialogue wherever they're at. Let's hear a tale. Not the winter bloom route just yet. Father's route for Frone. Frone promised to meet Father in the town of Winterbloom. To win her freedom from the black snake, she must kill him and retrieve one of the keys to her collar. He's actually probably here after all. Father told me, when you have finished your job, come and join me in Winterbloom. He failed to give me any other details, but he never does. I believe the snakes have a stronghold on the outskirts. He'll be there. I'm sure of it. I should learn more about this job and wait for an opening. And once I find it, I will kill father. He's definitely the scary one though, isn't he? Now to find that tavern. Father has set a trap for me there, without a doubt. I've known him for a long time. I can't imagine he'd pass up the opportunity. Are you ready, Oswald? You're rather quiet today, Professor. It's cold. <laughs> He's the one who's actually skilled at fighting and stuff. He's the one who teaches them how to fight, so... He can be a very dangerous opponent indeed. Interestingly, it changed to night. Steady, even-tempered man who runs a farm. Through sheer perseverance and careful cross-pollination, he's managed to create strains of wheat and fruit trees that grow in the cold, unforgiving soil of this town. His son aims to become a scholar. I'll take that. I mean, sure. So, to talk forward, there's... Partitious fingers aside, we've actually got to go out that door. 
A young boy whose boundless energy carries him out of out of doors at all times, has absolutely zero interest in books or toys, preferring instead to play his favourite game, inventing new ways to play. He may never run out of ideas. Thank you. Even in the cold, I guess you want to be running around quite fast though for this kind of issue. I wonder if I have to knock this guy out to get in his house by the look of it. Alright, we'll leave these houses on the side. Some nice snowmen up there. A lone bandit whose face betrays not even a hint of emotion. He'll do quite literally anything if the price is right. He uses nearly all the money he earns to look after stray dogs and cats he's taken in. Oh, okay. Nice of you, I guess. This guy's a high level to inquire. 30. Easy there. Watch where you're going. Pickpockets around. Not that bit of talking business during daylight hours. Ah, so should I change it to nighttime hours? God, that place looks a bit foreboding. Are you the same dude or not? Problem is, I can't really talk to you in midnight hours. It's one of my issues. It's a weird issue, to be sure. I should probably look for someone to hire so I can sell stuff quite well, actually, when I think about it. It's either full re- oh, he's got the wash dishes pick. Guess I can't hire you, though. Hello, what are you doing? Promise is a promise, am I right? Is it? Sure. Bandit waiting for someone. Exactly one year ago, he invested a pile of leaves into a fellow bandit scheme that was guaranteed to produce untold riches. Now he's left waiting for someone who seems increasingly unlikely to appear and wonders, is it worse to deceive or to be deceived? <laughs> so this used to be the inn, by the look of things. The weapon shop down here too. Bandit encamped inside the armor. He sells stolen goods and claims to be a connoisseur, but his suspicious pricing gives him away as a completely self taught businessman. The arms merchant next door is actually his half brother. I'll take your bow, it's kind of rubbish. Tattered sacred shield. I'll take that. Not a problem. Take the information as well. This is where the weapons are available to be bought. Stinging daggers. Quite a bit extra damage. Uh, we saved up some cash, but. I kind of... Well, you could just buy a silver hatchet, which, of course, we got equipped. I'm kind of feeling like I should save because we got that whatever is going on there, and it's going to involve capitalism, right? So, therefore, it might involve a price. Oh, there's loads of guys around. What are you doing here, cleric? Silver fuck. Poison dagger over there. Didn't see this. Bang lychee. Quite a variety of people around the place, isn't there? <laughs> Little crow. Guard's helm, guard's armor. He's not here. Well, well, look who showed up. You really are a beauty. Hmm? Why don't you come have some fun with us? I don't have time to play with children. <laughs> How about you take a look around? There's three of us. And only one of you. Besides, we were told we could have our way with you. So be a good girl and we'll make it worth your while. <laughs> <sighs> I've had more than I can stand of these brats. Time to put them to bed.
Ambush the reaper. We're just gonna walk up. Oh, come on already. I can't wait any longer. Yeah, I'll give you exactly what you want. Oh, I think I need to be nighttime. Don't worry, guys. Yeah, not gonna feel a thing. Good night. <laughs> I'm just gonna wait there while I just knock them unconscious. Sure. Good night. Yeah, I like a woman with some fight in her. What? <laughs> Good night. Bonk. <laughs> <laughs> well done, my girl. Father. Neither dead nor alive, robbed only of their movement. <laughs> it takes an experienced hand to perform a feat like that. Thank you. Children these days are so simple. A few leaves is all it takes to win someone's obedience. I told them a beautiful woman would be visiting, and that they could take whatever liberties they wanted with her. <laughs> I'm sure they're dreaming of you as we speak. <laughs> oh, don't look so cross, girl. I was only joking. Enough. I deal with your antics every time we work together. But you've grown because of it. You're the best in the nest now. I take it you finished the last job then. Was that also meant as a joke? You mean tricking my children into killing each other? <laughs> I told you, didn't I? I want you to be my successor. Once we finish this job, the throne's all yours. I don't want it. I came here to kill you. I will find an opening. I must. Time to get to work. I'll tell you more when we get there. Come find me when you're ready. I'll be waiting on the eastern side of town. Understood. I guess fathers are the same everywhere. Always pushing their children to do the impossible. Your father too. When I was a chickadee, we got our hands on this humongous melon. Pops wanted to share it with the neighbors, so he told me to cut it into eight pieces. He said if any of them was even a seed area, it was no good. He gave me an earful when I said it was impossible. Said we had to be fair or else the neighbors would be unhappy. I can imagine. People fight over treasure all the time. It made me sad thinking of people squabbling over something small like that. So I got each of them their own giant melon. <laughs> Impressive. Yeah, the neighbors were good in from ear to ear. And I'd used up a bundle of leaves in the process. So we were stuck eating stir-fried veggies for days. In the end, I got myself another earful from Pops. I should have seen that coming. Isn't it stir-fried beef veggies? <laughs> oh, so it's actually taking us to here. The east side of town is literally that we're gonna invade that. There you are. As I expected, no openings, even from behind. But Father is sure to let us guard down sometime. The moment he strikes the killing blow on his target. No matter how skilled the assassin, they haven't a thought to spare on anything else at that moment. That's my opening. That's when I will kill Father. Why have we come here? To see the snow hares. They're a thieves' guild that call this town home. They used to be on good terms with the black snakes, but they've been encroaching on our territory lately. Death to traitors. 
Precisely. There's one sentry at the entrance. Our job is to infiltrate the hideout and eliminate the leader of the Snow Hares. You will take the lead, Throne. I will provide support. Support? Father and I have worked countless jobs together. But he was always the one to deliver the final blow. We both knew that his dagger wouldn't miss. What is he thinking? Could he have seen through my plan? What's the matter, Throne? This is no more than a test to see what you're truly capable of. <sighs> this is... unexpected. Now I have to do the job and wait for another chance. Understood, Father. Do you remember our first job, Throne? Why? I want to know if you've grown used to the smell of blood. I'll be back. Oh my god! Why are you approaching me from the front? I don't know what's going on! What business have you here? <laughs> yeah, it's proper guard voice. <laughs> Better not be anything suspicious going on. Good night. Uh. <sighs> Killing him would be safer. Corpses don't come after you. But I refuse to spill blood unless I must. I hate the way it makes me feel. I wonder when it all began. When did my hands begin to waver? Please, don't kill me! Go on, give it a try. I can't do it. You're still young and naive, Throne. You're wasting your sympathy. He's the worst sort of scum there is. <sighs> Come now, Throne. Once you kill him, you'll understand. You'll see how intoxicating the smell of blood can be. Soon enough, You'll want to spread it on your bread like butter. I'd rather have raspberries. <laughs> but of course. Everyone is born with a gift. The gods bestow us all with the job only we can do. It is our fate. Your gift was wielding a dagger, Throne. If you want to live, you must learn to kill. <clears throat> Very good. Just as I expected. How was it, my dear? The smell of blood. Ever since then, I killed just the way father taught me. I can't remember how many lives I've taken. My hands are forever tainted with the stench of blood. But soon, soon I will put this life behind me. Well, what's in here then? What is the job I actually have to do, considering a guard's already been knocked to vary out? It seems like I need to be in that lower section. 
There's nothing in here. Hey, Snowheads, where are you? Oh. A dungeon. You there. Please, please. Please help me. If you don't, they'll sell me away. Huh? I heard a rumor. They say the snow hares kidnap girls for trade. Please, help me. I will help you, but after my job here is done. Sit tight. Thank you. You're a kind woman. Now, to find out who's behind all this. Well, we can inquire. Woman being held captive by the snow hares. After her family was killed, she was taken to the hideout to be uh, to be sold off. She contemplated death in her despair, but found a glimmer of hope after meeting Frone. That was very helpful. We'll learn a bit. Okay, so a dungeon stands before us. Chess await us in places. <laughs> Let's play. I was about to say, the thieves are going to find me. <laughs> Here goes. Uh, well, we found you one of your weaknesses already, so I'll use this stupidly good thing to whack you really hard. Go, go, go! Did I get a new bow? Ready. I can't remember now. Right, the assumption is that they probably be, would be weak to daggers, but they're not. Well, now. Is number one. Uh, number two is their. Poison slash. Has to be done. My journey will not end here. Ridiculously powerful ability. So we can go on the water over that section. Which probably will lead me to a treasure chest of some variety, I'd have to say. In fact, this is the absolutely direct route. <laughs> What on earth are you? Cleaning time. They had a nice noise when they entered. They're weak to bows, so they're flying. They are ice curators, so obviously they're weak to fire as well. Clean. Knowing that you're not actually weak to anything. Well, you're weak to fire, obviously, but. I'll do the job time every time. To divvy up the earnings. Now, you won't find the observed instead of firing the arrow and bow we've got, we're catapulting the arrow instead. We've decided the bow is a useless invention. And we've decided to switch our modus operandi. Any way to go this way? There is, actually. What's dagger? Is that better? It is indeed. Slim chance to reduce target's elemental defense. It also comes with 58 elemental attack. Ooh, the treasure chests are reachable by water. Only an M soul stone, but it's not the type we need for the stained glass window, if I'm right. Let the experiment begin. I was hoping for an octopus. This is my dream. Need a plan. Well, my plan is that they're probably weak to fire because reasons. They're dire ash ravens, actually. They might not be. Fire. Burn. 
Okay. My turn. Bounces is that. Uh, clean. Next. And so it goes. In this game, gear is more important than levels. And we've already gotten I like I could have bought way better gear, right? But we've already gotten enough crazy good gear. Now, where am I going? That's just a roundabout route. What the hell? There was one more treasure chest, right? Oh, now I'm confused. Yeah, I think there is. We've already got enough some good items here, there, and everywhere that... We're pretty much sorted for stuff. Oh, maybe not, then. Oh, this is the opposite side of that. Oh, okay. So there's a way through over here. Time to clean up the filth. I feel like I'm getting myself a little bit ready. Confused now. Clean. If that spear we out of hope, go, go, go. Maybe next time. Then my spear is obviously really good at this point. I think for our next journey, we're going with our Chetland, definitely. So is there a way to the left here? Yeah, there we go. Knew there was an alternate, alternate path. The empowering bracelet. It's not an empowering ring. Empowering bracelet is even more HP. Sure, Casty can have 500 HP. <laughs> Wait a second, do I have Casty with a. <laughs> Prevent sleep? <laughs> yeah, okay. You see nothing. I'm gonna give her an Octopuff pot. Maybe we'll get lucky. Wait, if my main character can't die, then we can't lose, right? That's my current plan. Out of my way. So you're like a ready. Still just a curator. You're too kind. Who's weak to daggers? You're a stalwart ally, Throne. That's one down. Uh, arrow of force. Gotcha. Oh, six, six, six. With Twelve JP. Time to divvy up the armies. I'll take it. 